Hi lovelies, how's everybody doing today? Say hi to Figaro. Hi Figaro, hi guys, hi. <laughs> He's my tuxedo cat. Okay, so I was tagged to do the new, new Year's tag and I'm just now getting to it. So let's get th th this thing started. It's only, what, two weeks past New Year's, so I'm good. I'm not doing it two months past New Year's. Like my new mustache? <laughs> Get, get your butt out of my face. Okay, so number one is <laughs> Figaro. If you could look back, if you could look back in one memory from last year that you wish you could relive, what would it be? <laughs> there are so many good memories from last year. Between in July, my surgery, to uh, WWE, we had... A lot of trips to the wrestling, Elijah getting promoted as an honorary superstar, uh, signing a contract in the middle of the ring on TV. Um, there's so many. I mean, I could go on a list. Last year was a great year. It was life-changing all around for all of us. I mean, we had our bad moments and still trying to fight off his cancer, but I, I have to say this is the best year so far. Um, in, in the last, I'd say, 10 years. So this is, it was really great last year. Number two, what was one New Year's resolution that you accomplished? Uh, getting to my goal weights and losing weight. I mean, that's, I guess that's a given for most of us weight loss surgery patients. But um, I wanted to be 150 by Christmas, and I wasn't. And, but, however, I did get down under 159, so that was kind of closer to 150, so that last two weeks, it's taken me about two weeks to, I'd say, lose seven pounds, so I'm getting there. Um, I might be late on my New Year's resolution, but I'm doing it. Last year's New Year's resolution uh, was to get the surgery last year, and that was my resolution, and I did it. I don't usually make resolutions. I stay out of that hype. Uh, three. Three words to describe last year. Amazing. Best decision of my life getting the surgery. Like I said, the WWE. It was just an amazing experience last year. Uh, it was um, bittersweet, you know, because my son having relapse and then the sweet part, you know, just everything. Number four, something you are looking forward to this coming year. Hitting my goal weight. I'm hoping, according to my phone, I'm using my phone to record, I can't show you. According to my phone app on the app, uh, I don't know if it's MyFitnessPal or um, uh, my weight, track my weight um, app. And uh, either one of them said that they were predicting my future weight. And by March, I should be down to 135. And hopefully by my birthday, I want to be close to 135. Close. I don't have to be at 135. But if I were close to 135 by my birthday, which is March 22nd, um, that would be seriously the best birthday present ever to be at my goal weight. Oh, my gosh. Five, what did last year teach you? Uh, a lot of humbleness. And a lot of thanksgiving, a lot of um, discipline, a lot of um, learning how to live a new lifestyle. Last year was definitely an eye-opener in finances and uh, my health and just a lot of things have come forth. There's so much last year. It's It would take all day to explain. <sighs> yeah. Number six. What is your most worn clothing item of last year? I change a lot. I change a lot. My hair. You like my wig, guys? I change my hair. I change a lot of things. And what is going on here? Um... I, I wore a lot of jeans and t-shirts a lot last year, so really can't say what I wore. It was jeans, t-shirts, and pajamas a lot last year. I mean, I sit in the hospital almost 24-7, so um, yeah, jeans and t-shirts. 
Number seven, if you had to sum up your year in one word, what it what would it be? <laughs> I, this is almost like the last question. Uh, amazing. One word would be amazing. Um, two words, life changing. Number eight, what are your hope? What what are you hoping for more of this coming year? Well, according to my second channel, I'm going to lean on that for a minute. When it comes to my second, my other channel, Mom's Vlog 80, I'm looking for to be more of a full-time YouTuber according to getting paid. I get paid on YouTube and having over, you know, 13,000 subscribers has been really, really helpful and uh, becoming successful. My hope this year would be success. Success in everything I do. Weight loss, eating right, lifestyle change, to working on YouTube, to, you know, to doing advertisement sales for companies. Those are things that I'm, I'm looking forward to is success. And um, I see that coming forth already since last year. And so I know this year I'm predicting this year to be success. What are you hoping for less of this coming year? Less of cancer. Less of struggling with uh, my weight. Less of struggling with my eating habits. Um, yeah, I'm hoping for less uh, of cancer. And uh, hoping that it goes away for my son. Number 10, best book you read last year. I don't read books. Sorry, I don't read. So that question's irrelevant. Number 11, what is your New Year's resolution for the upcoming year? I don't have a resolution. I don't do those. If I were to make one, it would be to get to my goal weight and be successful. So this was an easy tag video. Thank you to everybody who tagged me in this video. I normally don't get tagged in tags, so I truly appreciate those who mentioned me and thought about me. It made me feel special. So, um, Sleep for Tink, Alan VSG, uh, who hasn't done it? Well, those two I'm tagging for sure, and um, if you haven't done the tag, I am so sorry, because I know mentioning your name, it makes you feel a lot spe a lot more special. I, I get it. I understand. But if you want to do the tag, you're more than welcome to. It's a really fun tag, so uh, definitely Sleep for Tink and Alan VSG. I have not seen them do it yet, so tag, you're it. We'll see you guys all la later. Ciao. Love you.